Good afternoon from the ranch slash homestead. Yeah, we've been enjoying like some moisture, a little bit cooler weather also. Today is not as humid this afternoon. It's warm, but it's not humid. But my gosh, this rain has really turned the sorghum suit in that survived the drought has turned into something. If you look over here, I'm standing in here. This is not even the tallest parts of this. And uh, it's above my head. I'm 5'10". So these are six foot. I mean, there's some over back over there. We'll walk around there too. There's, there's some back around there. We're gonna walk over to them that are taller than that. So, um, so and, and what I also like is that the leaf, the leaf is doing much better this time. Look at that. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what it should have done the first time, but we just didn't have the moisture. Um, so we're going to get, you know, some hay out of this. Not what we want, want, but, you know. So we'll get that done. Also, I got this honey locust is spreading here like crazy because of the drought. Just like it is over there because of the drought. So, uh, and there's going to be some in the hay. There's nothing I can do about that. Uh, the cows, they'll, they'll pick through it. They'll be okay. Uh, but boy, it looks so much better than what it did. And look at this one right here. So, hold on, let me back up to this one. I mean, uh, look at that leaf for one thing. That's, that's a leaf. But let me back up to this guy. Look at that. There, there, it's up there. I don't know. What is that? Eight foot? Probably. There's some of that longer than that over here. So, uh, yeah, you know, we're going to get, we're going to get, you know, a good amount of hay right through here. Um, but I want to get it cut. Get here, I got to spray these trees out. My gosh, they're a mess. Uh, they, they'll take over if I don't spray them. You can't just mow them and expect them to go away. You have to spray. But this turned out pretty good. You look at the tillering. What happened down here at the bottom where one plant when it finds dessert rain one plant turned into what three maybe four right uh, that's making this look really good back here in this back and uh so we got we got a little bit of it right there's oh man that's nine foot tall over here wow so it's gonna give us some hay you know this stuff, is the stem is a little bit thicker on this, so it's probably better if it was chopped, but I don't have a chopper or nothing like that yet. Um, but So we're gonna, we'll bell it. It's gonna take a while for it to dry down, of course. I don't know when we're gonna cut. I was wanting to wait two weeks to get the rest of this growing up over here, but I might have to come cut this early uh, because it's seeding and that's gonna lose any, you know, nutrient value's gonna go way down real fast. With that seeding going on, I mean, you know, this stuff is, you know, it's tall. I mean, let me, let me get away this way, but we're not looking straight in the sun. I can't see what's going on here. Yeah, yeah it's way up there. Look at that. Huh, pretty neat. But, uh, yeah, so that's an update of what's going on with the sorghum Sudan. And, uh, let's see, we're, uh, what is this, September, September the 8th? I think something like that so I mean you know technically this stuff could grow a little bit more but here's the problem this is tall this is not um, so we got a you know nice grouping of it down here in this corner and some more over there that's decent you know five foot tall five foot six seven eight nine so um, <clears throat> you know we'll get that one thing I gotta do, like I said, is get this cutting done. I said, I'm probably gonna cut this back here, I think. And uh, get it belled. And uh, that way I can start working on getting this all pushed out of the way here. Burned out and pushed out. I need to burn this brush pile here and then get it spread out. And I got another one over there I gotta do too. But we're getting moisture, so that's the key, right? I mean, you see here, a lot of it died during the drought. I mean, it just, it just gave up, right? 
So it's not gonna, that's not gonna come back. It's impossible. Uh, you know, over there's four foot. Um, so a little bit tall, but man, there's a lot of honey locusts in there. That's gonna be a mess. I should have sprayed it while it was down, while there was, the Sudan wasn't growing <clears throat> during the drought, but I didn't. Also, it's hard to breathe out here because we've got uh, snow on the prairie, weed, there's a mesquite growing up. Uh, we've got a few other weeds, I don't know what that is, but I hate it. But snow on the prairie is really bad right now, and I'm pretty allergic to that along with ragweed. And ragweed is big time right now also. I'm going to put my sunglasses on, it's getting pretty bright out here. But uh, last year, this actually produced decent. I mean, not last year, but early in the spring, it did okay. It's three, four foot tall, but now you can see there's nothing. <laughs> so, uh, you know, some areas just took it really hard with the drought. Some areas did a bit better. And it really had to do with the uh, root structure. And what happened here is it just died out in here a little bit. Uh, but the root structure, if it had deeper roots, it did better. You can see the yellow one. The nutrients are not in the ground now. Um, so, I mean, here's a, you know, they'll, they'll eat it. It'll be some roughage for them, but it's not going to be the best thing in the world. You know, it's not going to be the ultimate thing in the world, I should say. It's going to be okay. And I said, some of it's still back there. It's going to be pretty good. So, um, but yeah, we'll, you know, we're going to cut it though. We're going to belt what we can. 